Hello, I'm Chuck Simons, inventor of the Groomer's Helper. The Groomer's Helper is a safety tool that is being used by top professional groomers all over the world, including you. So let's get started. Remember, the responsibility for safe operation of this product is up to you. If you're not sure how to properly use the Groomer's Helper, then don't. The Groomer's Helper must be used correctly to reap the benefits. Remember, it's not how much restraint you use, but how little you need to to get the job done once you're using the Groomer's Helper. It is important that the Groomer's Helper not be too tight or too loose. Be aware of, of when to tighten or to release, and note the bite radius of the dog. Let's look at the Groomer's Helper itself. As you see, there are only two moving parts. One is the gold button that locks and unlocks the tether, and the other is the adjusting knob that tightens the clamp to the grooming arm. Move the gold button back, and the tether runs in and out of the groomer's helper freely. Move it forward, and it locks the tether into place so the pet cannot pull on it anymore. It is a positive one-way tether. The groomer's helper will fit most arms up to one inch square. It'll actually go up to inch and a quarter for tubular or rounded arms. Open the thumb screw all the way and place the groomer's helper onto your grooming arm. There are slots that should fit three quarter inch and one inch arms. The tether should be facing the table and tighten the thumb screw down to keep the groomer's helper in place. The second part of the groomer's helper starter set is the safety grooming loop. As you can see, the loop stays shut when you lock down the clasp to the back of the pet's neck. It has a quick release in case of emergency. And conveniently, a D-ring stitched into the bottom of the loop so that when it's on, you can hook it to your groomer's helper very conveniently. So this is what your table should look like at the end of the day with the loop and the groomer's helper connected. Okay, there's two ways you can put the loop on the dog. And the first way is over the head like you normally would. However, if the dog's a biter, you're putting your hand right in harm's way. The second way to put it on, which is much safer, is to position yourself behind the dog, face him the other way, open up your quick release, and bring it around the back. Take the tether from your groomer's helper, hook it up to the bottom of the loop which is now on top, spin it around, lock it to your arm, and bring it down to the back of the dog's neck and lock it. You have some slack here and you have some slack here. Never pull the rope in to scare the dog, bring the dog in and lock it. This is position one. You now are in like a triangle where the uh, angle of the loop and the angle of the rope is all in the same direction. Uh, depending on the height of the dog, um, you would want to adjust your arm so again that he is in this triangle. You then can pull the dog out and he's stacked. Understand that this is position one and what you've done is you reduced Maxie's ability to turn and bite you by 90%. You can work on almost all of the dog without worrying about him being able to bite you. Whenever you're um, grooming, you do not have to stay in this position. You can open up the groomer's helper and give yourself as much play as you want. However, if you need to get another tool or you need to answer a question, what we want to do is bring Maxie right back in and lock it so he can't jump off the table, he can't fall off the table, he can't hang himself, and he's just comfortable where he sits. By using position one, you've reduced the dog's bite radius up to 90%. The dog can't back off the table, jump off the table, or hang himself. The loop is being pulled away from the trachea, so it's much safer for the dog. The groomer's helper calms the dog and holds him gently in position while you groom with both hands free. No more holding the dog with one hand and trying to groom with the other. When you groom with more confidence, with the knowledge that you no longer can be bitten, then the dog smells that confidence on your breath and subordinates to you as the alpha of the pack. The system is working with the dog's natural instinct. It reduces the struggle and you don't have to reposition him again and again. Remember this basic position, position one, where most of your grooming will get done, where you start and where you finish.